Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are teaming together to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you're coming for the first time, a very special welcome to our channel. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, an extra special welcome back to you. This is our meet time. Here we are looking at ways that we can build healthy habits or inform and prepare ourselves to experience better mental health. We have been looking at the eight laws of health as a significant contributor to the state of our mental health. And we have we last presentation examined or spoke about water as one of the eight elements in the eight laws of as one of the elements in the eight laws of health. So we do believe fully that when we have a healthy body, we will have a healthy mind. And so that is the premise on which we have decided to examine the eight laws of health in contributing to improving, sustaining, and building good mental health. All right, so let us go and pray and go into our routine. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity for life again. We place our life into your hands. We ask you for the forgiveness of our sins and for your blessing upon us. We pray, Father, that you help us to be holy as our Father in heaven is holy. We pray that you'll um, give us wisdom and understanding as it concerns our mental health and our overall health. We pray, Father, that we'll be true and good stewards of the body and the mind that you have given us and that we'll also be continuously be watchful and preparing our souls for our eternal transition. In Jesus' precious name I pray with hope and thanksgiving. Amen. All right, so let's go to our memory text and then we'll continue into our discussion about water. All right, so our memory text this week comes to us from Luke 10 and verse 27. And it reads, And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy strength and with all thy mind and thy neighbor as thyself. May God help us to be able to recall this text in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls, even our very own. So we looked at water in the last presentation. We just want to review um, the whole matter of water as one of the elements of the eight laws of health. Um, we know water is life, to be honest. The body is, as we said last week, 75% water, and our bodies are hydroelectrical um, machines, truly. So water is an extremely important part of our health and good function. So I'm just going to give you a few more reasons as to why the simple habit, habit of having water is good to practice and also very healthful for our bodies, minds as well. All right, so for one, water aids in digestion um, and water also is a big part of hydration and hydration helps the, the organs to function well. This morning I want to mention a little bit about um, using water a particular way and that is using water with lemon. Now, lemon is recommended to be had as a first drink in the morning with your water, preferably warm water or room temperature water with a lemon squeezed in it. All right, that is um, your intake that you take at once. All right, one glass of that, one cup of that in the morning. Preferably, we recommend that you also have that water using a straw um, because a continuous drinking of the lemon um, can also have some amount of um, negative impact on your teeth in a mill. So we recommend that you drink that lemon water um, with a straw. All right. So why do we want to encourage you to take lemon water in the first place? Well, for one, it also particularly is very effective in aiding in the digestion of food. It prepares the stomach to receive that food um, and break it down, all right? So, and start the process of breaking it down at least. So, um, it goes to your stomach and the acids in the lemon um, are especially helpful in supplementing the stomach acid levels, all right? And this tend to decline as we age. So, even more so for um, older persons, it's very 
effective and helpful for you to have that lemon water first thing in the morning. Water, of course, as we know, helps to keep us hydrated and so does lemon water. All right. So a daily habit of having lemon water is an easy way to get that hydration. Um, and it also helps to um, keep your your um, oxidation level in check. So lemon contains phytonutrients and this can protect your body from diseases as we know. Um, so these phytonutrients have the power to, um, sus to, to keep oxidation in check and this can help to prevent the damage of oxidation all right, to the cells. So this same mechanism is is um, helpful. So this whole um, habit, rather, of drinking the water is helpful in um, monitoring this whole mechanism of um, oxidation. All right, water also sorry lemon water in particular will also supply a rich um, um, a rich dose of vitamin C. So we're talking about a whole lemon to the cup. If you have a lemon and I also would recommend if you're in um, situations where you can't access lemon I would suggest that you do use um, lime all right all right so water does lemon water does supply a good um, dose of vitamin C um, so if your lemon is large you can use a half if it's medium you can use the whole um, uh, you add it to your water and you drink it and you get a a dose of calorie to your diet um, you not just get that but you get the vitamin C which is needed to protect our bodies from cell damage and also um, to repair where there is injury you know vitamin C also helps in the absorption of other nutrients all right lemon water will also help to improve our potassium um, balance so your body cannot function well without potassium, especially where it concerns your muscles and your nerves, it is very important for the, f the, um, the good functioning of muscles and nerves. So um, it also helps in your blood pressure regulation. So it is good to have that lemon water in your first drink. Um, so it will help with that potassium supply. Um, water also helps to prevent um, certain diseases um, for example the experience of kidney stone or certain um, health challenges for example the state of kidney stone so if you have your lemon water on a regular basis um, serves serving as a form of citric acid it um, helps to sustain um, the levels of of um, urinary citrate um, so especially when you are deficient in that area the lemon water helps to prevent that from becoming um, a state where you build up kidney stones in your kidneys so more lemon water or sustained drinking of lemon water will help to prevent the dehydration as well which we said it hydrates earlier which also is a big contributor to the formation of kidney stones so as we suggest, lemon water first thing in the morning at room temperature or warm, preferably, um, before you have your meals or any other um, thing, you put that in your water and you drink it. We hope that this will be something that you can put in place. It's a very healthy practice. And we hope that you would have learned something from what we presented to you today on water. All right, so we do know water is life. And please, if you don't have a habit as yet of drinking water regularly throughout the day we invite you to invest in a water bottle that you truly like preferably of course um, glass or um, if not you know that type of enamel or metal that we use as healthy um, containers we wouldn't want to avoid plastics especially um, plastics that are not on the list of healthy plastics so do go forward and apply as you find um, fit and don't just take the words that we present here but examine them 
as you continue to improve your health. All right, let us pray and close. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to look at our health and we pray father that as we put these measures that we are learning about in place that you truly bless every effort that we make and help us to become healthier beings um, in our whole body mind spirit and soul so even as saint luke 10 verse 27 invites we will truly be able to show you our love as we take good care of our body mentally physically and spiritually and that we can also help others our neighbors to do the same in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Thank you so much for joining us. Please keep hydrated throughout the day and remember your warm lemon water in the morning. God bless you and see you next week, Wednesday, for more meat time. Please also stick to the blueprint the holy scriptures wherein we can be led into eternal life god bless you